now I'm coming to you from my parents' basement. You can call me Queen of the Nerds. I'm Maureen Sada. I mean, I'm Zoe. And I don't underestimate the women of this tower. And this is Water and Shade, and because it's a four hour movie, here's part two of The Snyder Cats. So we're moving on to part three of the Snyder Cut, Beloved Mother, Beloved Son. Now Sam has had to travel through a boom tube, so that's why she's in a different location. If you want the tea on part one, check out our video. It will be linked above here somewhere. You'll be able to see it. Go check it out and then come back and watch part two. We'll wait. You just know there's a heroic flash moment coming up. She's going to die. <laughs> she's going to die. And Flash is gonna save her just in time. That's, sick. That's pretty cool. I fucking love that. And the fact that his shoes like ripped off for the, yeah. for the velocity, that's so cool. I appreciate the little like nods to physics. Save her! Barry Allen Wally West hybrid. Oh my god, hurry up! The Flash. Subtle reference to the phallus. <laughs> Save that for later. Pocket hot dog. Parademons dragging Atlanteans out of the ocean. Careful, he'll drown! Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's gonna fuck his mouth! Oh, okay. <laughs> she done already done had hers is. Diana and Bruce just need to fuck already. It's canon. It happened. I know Wonder Woman and Superman fucked, but it was just sex. But like Bruce and Diana, they're meant to be. You can ship that one. It's legal. I love that he actually has a backstory now. Now for you non-Americans who don't understand what football is, you need to go to a different show because I don't know what football is either. <laughs> Daddy never came to my oh. game! Cyborg. That's what can be tough. No! But your son that you didn't like this. Parents, go to your kids' football games, otherwise your wife is gonna die in a car crash. This is like a major, like, backstory for Victor Stone that we did not get at all in the Josh Whedon cut. Yeah, because he... I wonder why. I know! Just a tip! I'll lube it up real good. That's what she said. It only hurts if you clench. Look, mom, a real boy. It's like it's like that game Quop, where you have to make the person run with Q, <laughs> Q, W, and O, P. Quop. So backstory cut, explanation of powers cut. This kind of tells a different story right away. I mean, I always wear my Under Armour branded Letterman jacket when I'm in my. Mind Palace. New shut up. This is identity. His jacket is his identity. How will you know it's him otherwise? <laughs> Victory! Victory! See, this takes away the Deus Ex Machina, like... Cause now it's not just like, Oh, he's Tiberian, I can just do anything. Now it's like, no, oh, he has to work for his... Tiberian-ness. It's a test of your character. That was That's cut. why you have your left. <laughs> Yeah. That's why you have your Letterman jacket on, just so we know the kind of person that you are, Victor. Yes. Transfer some money into our bank, Victor. Go on. Do it's it. the right thing to do. You can make a difference! Although if that happened in real life, I'd be like, what's the scam? She just won RuPaul's Drag Race. She won $100,000. <laughs> American version. Not the British version where you just go get to make a YouTube video in mom's basement. <laughs> I won RuPaul's yeah. Drag Race UK. That's not how Americans roll. We take out $100,000 of student loan debt that we'll be paying off for the rest of our lives. He needs to go on Maury with that story. See you next week, Dad. Bye, Dr. Lecter. That's how I say the hope to people. I just throw a batarang at them. It's like a dog it's sniffing your butt. Yeah. It's a new form of communication. Yeah. 
Buttering! I have a snack hole. Way to make it weird, Sam. <laughs> Thank you! That is Batman's only powers, and he's rich. Bitch, I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Yeah, even I know that. People everywhere are offended. You're British! I love the, I love the accuracy of this. <laughs> That's how <laughs> you... That's the most you should make it too long. <laughs> no, I won't have any, thank you. <laughs> You'll <Okay. laughs> See, what Batman's doing here is making technology that will work against Superman. Because he knows... If Superman decided to not be a good guy, it's not almost really very much you're gonna be able to do about it. It's almost like he knew what was gonna happen. If you're not able to pick up a scalding hot pan with your bare hands, you have no business being a mother to my grandchild. Oh, please don't dig up your mom. I think he's it's digging just... up himself. Oh no, he's burying uh... the mother box. It seems like a very poor idea. It seems like a very shallow idea as well. Yeah. Like, you know, you should bury it deep enough so that you can then put a dead dog over the top of it <laughs> and then more soil. Then they can't find the bodies because they're just distracted by the smell of the dog. How to get away with murder. Okay. Commissioner Gordon looks an awful lot like John Jonah Jameson Jr. <laughs> I mentioned that. I told you I wanted a picture of Spider-Man. What is this? <laughs> I made the same joke. This is actually really good, though. This is a reference to... Um, there's an animation called uh, Justice League War, and it starts with the parademons coming to Earth looking for the mother boxes, and um, they're flying around Gotham, and people think that it's Batman. I appreciate little Easter eggs. That's interesting. She did not have a British accent in the Josh Whedon cut, nor in the Aquaman movie. He's behind you! <laughs> He's behind you! We're scared now! I didn't know Steppenwolf could breathe underwater. He's from Apocalypse, which I'm pretty sure is like methane. Oh, okay. Suit. Maybe it's his weird, creepy suit. Bubble power! Come on, Aquaman! Yeah! Yeah! There he is. Yeah! Now kiss! Kiss Steppenwolf, honey. So hot right now. Ah! This has got to be excelled so we can keep it on. Oh my god! Please no! Oh. That's dope, bitch. It's dope! That's like how my brother and I used to, like, go swimming. He'd go underwater, he'd just, like, play fight underwater. <laughs> I'll be Steppenwolf, you'll be Aquaman! I was gonna say, this Steppenwolf is a different fucking villain in this. Yeah! Like, he looks different, he acts differently, his movements look entirely different, it's like... It's like, everything they must have shot for him was just completely reshot. Yeah. I like that he, every time he looks at anybody, it's just like... I'm gonna fuck you later. See this? See this? That's going <laughs> in your mouth. I'm like, yes! Okay! <laughs> Whatever you say. I just want to suck on his wiener. He didn't come to my game. But still, I have a responsibility to my father. Because I'm unable to cut the toxic people out of my life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah look how metal I am! Four. Part four. Change machine. Change machine. Batman. I am death. Yeah, that's a butt shot I want to see. That's an upskirt shot that I appreciate. It's a line. They all form a line. <laughs> and an arrow pointing to where the next one's going to be. I can't see the pattern. I don't know what the pattern is. We can go in my car, but there's some hiking poles and some used placards in the back. We can take my mom's car. It's a station wagon. And it's much bigger. <laughs> 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 
Let's have some hero time! Keep smelling the mother box. <laughs> smells vaguely fishy. It's the Atlanteans. They smell fishy. Don't be weird. See, in the theatrical version, I just had no idea what was going on. I was just like, okay, that's a big hole. They kidnapped some people. Yeah, they kidnapped some people, but we don't really know why. And um, how did Victor's dad end up there? That doesn't make you better! I hate that lane. Great. We have families. Like, I'm supposed to care about you for the random second you're on screen. No, I don't know. Sorry. Yeah. I watched my bi my wife push a baby out of her, therefore I'm not expendable. I really think those little spider things should go all alien and just like fuck their mouths and then leave them pregnant with an alien baby. Maybe that's how more parademons are made. Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I wanna that's gonna be on my new uh pork and playlist. Yeah, pork and playlist. For porkin. <laughs> as long as the playlist everyone has as well, right? Mine is um, Moana and Throbbing Death Metal and Wonder Woman's fight scene song. Music aside, even like everything about this scene is like way more metal. Yeah! Like, look at this fucking nightcrawler just like scaling the fucking walls. Good parallel to the mouth-humping alien spider things. It's like defying gravity. I think I'll try defying <laughs> gravity. He can do what he wants. He's As Batman. Yeah. The laws of gravity don't apply to Batman. King Titans! Now time for Faramir, Captain of Gondor, to show his quality. Oh no! I'm just gonna, like, Wonder Woman is such a fucking savage in this film, I love it. Yeah. She knows you gotta kill things to make them stay dead. Yeah, one of the things I really hated about the theatrical cut was they had her, like, constantly doubting her abilities, like, uh, Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, I'm good, but I'm not as good as Superman. Yeah. I think we need to bring Superman back just, you know, because I can't do things by myself. And it's like, no, you're a fucking savage, you're a badass. Yeah. You've proven it. This fucking guy. Maybe if you keep shooting him, it'll make him go away. Why didn't anyone think of that? Gun make bad guy go boom boom. Pew pew pew! <clears throat> pew. That's how I got to Montana. <laughs> yeah, through the boom tube. Boom. boom tube. Way to go, Aquaman. Way to go. Way to go, Aquaman. Way to go. Who's that? I don't know. Let's stand Stop around that. asking for five minutes while we slowly <laughs> drown. <laughs> get on up. Get on up. Turn me out. Turn me out. I have to keep making sounds. I want to use this. <laughs> I have to be really annoying about it. <laughs> What do you want, Dad? I told you not to call me at work. I told you not to embarrass me when I'm with my friends. Ah, the last box of men. Those fucking men. Men. I buried it with my mom. Like three feet below the ground. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. To view the anti-life equation, you must have a level 14 intellect, which makes Lex Luthor overqualified. Hi, Dad! Daddy's home. I have a lot of dads. Daddy's home and his past. Where's my fucking martini? This is that moment, like, uh, in Star Wars, when you've got this, like, big bad in Darth Vader, and he's just like so terrified and then he suddenly bows down in front of this like even bigger bad in the emperor you're like oh. that's convenient i mean you're already there 
don't even have to make an extra stop. I'm just getting one of those like Kalmunian sing like moments. I'll chase him around the dead bones. <laughs> I love how Aquaman's like, you talk to machines, yeah, you talk to fish. Like, <laughs> which one's weirder here? If I'm a cyborg, I'd be like, I'm like, you talk to machines, I'm like, <laughs> let me say it in a way you understand. <laughs> you don't know Superman, Wally West Barry Allen. <coughs> I know of him. <laughs> I was gonna say, throw it in the sun, but that probably would be a good idea. Throw it back into the fires of Mount Doom from whence it came. <laughs> it cannot be destroyed, Gimli, son of Gloin, by anything we here possess. Do American filmmakers know any other villains in history besides the Nazis? It's always the fucking Nazis. Were there any other villains than the Nazis? There's more. There's more history here than the Nazis. We. That's when the oh. the school year ran out. We got up to the Nazis, and then nothing. And then it was like June 11th, and it's like, no, we're done with school. Who won the war? Uh, <laughs> we did. <laughs> it completely. It changes everything. It changes the entire story by cut. Basically, Josh Whedon's pettiness forced him to cut all of Ray Fisher's story just to make a point, and then what we got left with was everything without his story in. That, that's what I'm seeing here. And I, I just wanna I just wanna put that out there. Josh Whedon's pettiness is the reason you got the theatrical cut. Just remember that. Petty. Excelsior! You look like you could be my real mom! I can guarantee when she made that tea for Lois that she took microwaved water dropped a Lipton tea bag in it and then poured in a bunch of lemon and milk because that's how Americans make tea. I make tea well. I learned how to make tea from a British person, so I make it right. I make tea right. I don't drink tea, but I make it right. Yeah. I love tea. You're British. It is your birthright. As a Kyrian and noblewoman. You're in the wrong universe. <laughs> you don't tell me what universe I'm in. How do you judge me? It's Carol Danvers. It's Carol Danvers <laughs> and... Wait. You can't have $1,400 more. dollars. You spent all yours. I saw all those Amazon Prime boxes outside your door. I have no idea what just happened. I was too busy I playing dress mom. up. She's a really hot mom. She's a bad mom. You can tell because of her red eyes. <gasps> it's Martian Manhunter. The fuck? What the fuck just happened? Remember how I said unite the seven and we only got six members of the Justice League? That's number seven. Ba -ba -ba! Okay, so we just finished parts three and four of the Snyder Cut. Oh my God, Martian Manhunter was in this film and was inexplicably, inexplicably cut. And I don't even um, know who it was, and I'm really interested in that now. <laughs> like, yeah. 
I find it very interesting that they were teasing Unite the Seven as they were building up to this movie and then they only showed us six. So here's our seventh member of the Justice League with Martian Manhunter, obviously a Martian from Mars who has awesome superpowers. Um, that's really cool. I don't understand why they cut that. Clearly they're showing that they have no intention of pushing this film any further than what it was. That's really annoying. Um, yeah, I also feel Ray Fisher was really hard done by. Yeah, Joss Whedon really screwed him over, and uh. it. I think that explains why you couldn't include like Dark Side and everything, because now you're like, okay, we have this this explanation and things make sense, but if you cut that, a lot of the Dark Side stuff doesn't make sense. So I think that Ray might have been just... why it was cut out. Yeah, Ray Fisher's story tells the story of the mother boxes, of why they need to be united, of why Dark Side is connected, and by taking that out, you took away the whole story, and you took away all the consequences it's of the film. So yeah, um, Warner Brothers, who concluded that there was no foul play when it came to Ray Fisher, I think they. Um, have, have some, some questions, questions that, that need answering because quite clearly we can see that um, there was someone fucked him over massively. That's a shame. Um, but yeah, I we're now gonna we're we're now waiting for Superman to return. So that's gonna be, be in the fun. next part, <laughs> and we'll watch the next part on our next installment of Water and Shade as we react to the Snyder Cut. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. You, you can, can join, join us if you want to talk, talk about, about movies, movies and TV and books over on our Discord server. And also, if you are really wanting to get involved with our movie nights, do check out our Patreon as well, and you can find out more details about how you can get involved with us. Until next time, may you always Find water and shade. Ah!